In this lecture, I am going to show you how to install MongoDB server on Windows operating system. I will also show you how to configure MongoDB server to run in background and in foreground. Now, if you are using macOS or Linux, the installation step might be a little bit different. But I'll share a link in the description of this video which you can follow to install MongoDB on macOS or Linux. So let's go ahead and let's first download MongoDB from mongodb.com. For that, you need to go to this mongodb.com page. There, go to products and here you will see community edition. This community edition is free to download and use and it is sufficient for learning and development purposes. There you will also see that we have this enterprise edition. This edition has extra features than community edition. But to use this edition, you will have to purchase a license. But this community edition is free. So we are going to stick with community edition as it has enough features to learn MongoDB and for developing small applications. So click on this link here. And here, if we scroll down, here you have this option, Download Community. Let's click on this button and it will take you to the download page. Let's scroll down here. And from here, we can download MongoDB server. The current version of MongoDB server is 8.0. So we are going to install that. Here in my case, I'm using Windows operating system. So that platform has already been selected here. But if you're using a different operating system and it has not been automatically selected, you can select it from this drop down. And here I'm going to download an MSI package. You have also other options like you can download the zip file. But here I'm going to download MSI package. Let's click on this download button and let's wait for this download to complete. So the file has been downloaded. Now let's double click on this downloaded MSI file and it will open the installation wizard. So it has opened the installation wizard. In this first screen, simply go ahead and click on this next button. Here you have to accept the terms and license agreements. Click on next. Now here you have two options to install. The first option is complete option. In this case, all the program features will be installed. And then you also have this custom option. This option allows you to choose which specific features of MongoDB you want to install and where you want to install them. So here I want to install all the features of MongoDB server. I'm going to select this option and it will take us to the next page. In the next page, you will see that this checkbox install MongoDB as a service is checked by default. Now what this will do is in order to work with MongoDB server, we need to run this MongoDB service then only we will be able to connect to the MongoDB server. So when this checkbox is checked, it is going to run this MongoDB service in the background. So in that case, you will not have to manually run this MongoDB service before using MongoDB server. Okay, so I'm going to keep this checkbox checked because we want to run this MongoDB service in the background. And then here you also have the data directory and log directory. So by default, MongoDB will be installed in this folder, C program files MongoDB in the server folder. So there, a data folder will be created, which will store all the data which you are storing on the MongoDB server that will be stored on a disk file in this data folder. And the log file that will be stored in this log folder. So whatever you are doing on your MongoDB server, everything will be logged in a log file and that log file will be created in this folder. So this is your log directory and this is your data directory. If you want, you can also change these folders. But I'm going to keep the default values here and let's click on this next button. And here we have this option that with this installation, we can also go ahead and install MongoDB Compass. MongoDB Compass is a graphical user interface to work with MongoDB server and we will learn about it in great detail in the future lecture of this course. But for now, I'm not going to install it. So I'll simply uncheck this and then I'll click on this next button. And finally, let's click on this install button to install MongoDB server on this local machine.
so the installation has started let's wait for this installation to finish and the installation is finished let's click on this finish button now we are going to verify whether the mongodb server has been installed successfully or not for that first of all i am going to open services and there if i scroll down we should see a mongodb server service running and this is the background service i was talking about during the installation process so currently the mongod service is running in the background so you don't need to run mongod service manually in order to work with mongodb server but if we want we can also stop it or restart it and i'll show you that in a bit then let's go to the folder where the mongodb has been installed and that is in c drive program files you will see a folder called mongodb in there you will see a folder called server inside that you will see a folder with the version number so we have installed version 8.0 so with that a folder is created here if i go inside this there you will see we have three folders bin data and log so in this log folder your log file will be generated you can see we have this mongod.log file in this file you will see all the log messages which is logged from the mongodb server then in the data folder you will have all the database files so whatever data you are storing on the mongodb server that will be stored in one of the disk files so those files are present in this folder okay and then we also have this bin folder if i go inside this bin folder there you will see that we have this mongod this is an application and this mongod is basically the service which we need to run in order to connect with mongodb server currently this service is running in the background as i showed you but let me stop this service here so now mongod service is not running in the background or in the foreground so we will not be able to connect to mongodb server and i'll show you that in our next lecture when we will install a client application to connect to our mongodb server but for now just understand that since the mongodb service is not running in the background or in the foreground we will not be able to connect or work with mongodb server so now what i am going to do is i am going to run this mongodb service in the foreground for that let me type cmd and let's open command prompt and to run mongod service in the foreground we just need to type mongod currently this command will not work because currently i am in this folder so from here if i try to run this command you will see that it says mongod is not recognized as internal or external command but now what we can do is we can go into this folder where this mongod application is present so for that let's say cd and then let's specify the path so in the bin folder we have the mongod application from there if i run this mongod command now you will see that we have not any error and it is trying to start the mongod db server okay so here we have some errors i'll show you that in a bit but the first thing which i am going to do is i am going to specify this path in the environment variables so that we can run this mongod command from anywhere so let me open environment variables let's search for environment variables you will see this option edit the system environment variables open that click on this environment variables button and i want to add the environment variable in the system variables so there let's go to the path edit and here i want to add a new path so i'll click on this new button and there i'll specify the path of the bin folder where the mongod application is present in the mongodb installed location okay let's click on okay and here also let's click on okay and let's click on okay and let's close this so let's go back to command prompt let me clear this shell and now let's go to c drive so i'll say cd and then c colon slash so now i'm in the c drive from there let me go ahead and let me run this mongod command and it still says mongod is not recognized as internal or external command so let me check the environment variables and there we have added this path 
but for some reason it is not able to recognize it maybe i'll have to restart the system in order to make this in effect okay so maybe after restart it will work but in order to run this mongod service from anywhere you need to add the path where the mongod service is present to the environment variables okay now i'm not going to restart so what i'll do is i'll run the previous command where we will move to the bin folder and from there let me go and let me run this mongod command one more time in order to start the mongodb service in the foreground so you see for some reason it is not starting the service and if i scroll up you will see that we have an error and the error says that the data directory this slash data slash db it is not able to find it and the reason is we don't have this path in the install location so by default mongod is looking for this path slash data slash db for data directory and it will look for log folder for the log file but what i want is i want to use this data folder as the data directory and this log folder for generating the log files so what we need to do is let me clear the shell here and before running this mongod command we are going to specify some configurations here so we are going to specify a db path we are explicitly going to specify it and in our case the db path should be this path so let me copy this path and let's specify it here and then we are also going to specify the log path so for that we will use this flag hyphen hyphen log path and let's go ahead and let's copy the path of the log folder so this folder should be the folder where the log file should be generated so let's specify that and in the end i'm also going to add hyphen log append okay what this will do is whenever there will be a new log message it will append that log message in the log file instead of overriding the existing log file okay so with this let's go ahead and let's run this command and now we have this error because it is not able to find c program so the problem here is we might need to wrap this path within double quotes like this so that the complete thing will be taken as a single string here after the program if you see we have a space and because of that we have this issue here also let's wrap it within double quotes and now let's try to run this command all right here instead of specifying just the directory name we also need to specify the log file name for the log so after log let's say slash and i'm going to call the log file as mongod dot log okay let's run this command again and now we have another error and it says that it is not able to open the file so file not open and that might be because we need to run this command prompt in administrator mode so let me close this and let's open command prompt in administrator mode and here first let's move to the bin folder where the mongodb application is present and again here let's go ahead and let's try to run that command and let's try to run this command now and now you will see that we do not have any error and the mongodb service is now running in the foreground so this is how you can run your mongodb service in the foreground but i'm not going to run it in the foreground so i'm going to press control c to stop it so now the mongodb service is stopped i'll close it and i'll start it from the background so i can simply click on the start button so mongodb server this service is already selected i'll simply click on the start button to start the service okay so in this lecture we installed mongodb server in our local development machine now in order to connect to that mongodb server and to work with the mongodb server we need a client application 
and that we are going to download and install in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.